I'm going to keep this short and sweet. We're adding three things to the Hacker News app from last time. The ability to log in, the ability to upvote, and the ability to post replies. In the app, that looks like this. You click on a post, you try to upvote it, and it opens the login page. So you say who you are, you get logged in, and the upvote goes through eventually. Then you can say something mean, and the app won't actually let you say anything mean. It says, stay positive. That's important. We're using Google Cloud's natural language API to do that. But if you say something positive, even though it's not productive, it lets you through. Now, while Hacker News does have a public read API, it doesn't have a public write API. So I had to reverse engineer how their own forms work. But I think that's out of the scope of this article. So we're not going to talk about how I reverse engineered it. You can watch the live stream recordings for that. So let's begin. We're going to start with login. The login page shows up when you try to upvote or reply. I'll show you how that works in a bit. It is basically a React component that has some state, a username, password, the current error, and whether we're logging in. We use the logging in flag to decide whether we're showing a spinner or the login button. Then we have two helper methods, which are change username and change password. They just basically copy some text from the input field to the, to the state. Then we have a submit function. This one does the actual real work. It checks if we're currently logging in, and if we are, it bails out. If we're not, it checks that we have all the ve all the important inputs. If we do have them, then it sets state to logging in. That shows the spinner and calls store.login, which is a f an action on our mobile store. When that promise resolves, we check if it was successful. If it was, we navigate back to go to whatever we were doing before, or we set state to false and we say bad login. And the, the render method is essentially a screen view with a heading saying login to Hacker News, two text inputs that are designed to not mess with your inputs, and a button with either a spinner or some text. When you submit, we call the login action on the store, which calls hn.login. That's a helper class I made for dealing with Hacker News itself. When that resolves, we update the local state, the store state with a username saying that we're logged in and then we call this action after login which is going to be either upvoting or replying this lets us have callbacks essentially that ex execute once we're successfully logged in and hn login is basically just a big ass fetch call that pretends to be the login form of the official hacker news site so we have fetch we create the url for login set some headers add account password and where we want to go to next say we don't want any cross-site protection, include our credentials, that's the actual cookie stuff. Then we parse the responses text. And when we have that, we check if anywhere in the response it says bad login, because that's how Hacker News works. It renders the login page again and adds a bad login text. That's the login. Let's do upvoting next. The upvote component is pretty simple. It's either rendering a spinner, if you're currently upvoting, or it renders a thumbs up icon that is dimmed out if you've already upvoted or full opacity if, you're, if you still can upvote. That means it has some local state. You're either upvoting or you've already upvoted. And there's an upvote function that is called when you press the thing. It checks for double taps, sets state to upvoting, then issues a MOBEX action that eventually resolves and updates the state. The MOBEX store action basically lets our HN wrapper do all the work. It returns a new promise. If you're not currently logged in, it adds upvote to the action after login, then calls show login form to show the login form. So you can log in and then your upvote will go through. If you are already uploaded, then it calls hn.upvote, which resolves with success and so on. Now, hn.upvote, that one's a bit tricky. First, we have to get the upvote URL because it's different for every logged in user and for every story. So we have to fetch a specific comment uh, page. And once we have that page, we parse it with Cheerio. Cheerio gives us a basic jQuery-like interface so we can look for the uh, for the for the ATAC to upload this specific comment 
and get its URL. Then we, when we have that, we can issue a GET request with a fetch to that specific URL and that creates an upvote. And that's basically upvoting on Hacker News. We have logging in and upvoting, now let's do replies. The reply component is once more basically just a form. It has some local state for text, whether it's currently submitting, if there was an error, and whether you've already replied. We have change text, which copies text from the input field to, the, to our state. Then we have a submit function, which takes care of submitting. If you're already submitting, it bails out. Otherwise, it sets state to you're currently submitting. Then it does store.reply, which is going to follow a similar pattern as you've seen so far. Once that succeeds, it sets the state to be not an error, blah, blah, blah. To make it a little bit more interesting, we have a getter for the submit button style, which turns it red or not red. In the render function, we are rendering a view with a text input. This time it does autocorrect and capitalization and things like that. And the button that either shows a spinner or a textual either submit or error. As you can guess, the mobex store reply function once more lets our HN wrapper do all the heavy lifting. We return a promise. If the user is not currently logged in, we show the login form. If they are, we get the sentiment. This is a slightly modified function from what we had in the previous app. It sends a request to Google's cloud language API, gets back a sentiment score, and if that is not positive, we don't let you comment. If you are being positive, then we call HN. which actually fakes the Hacker News comment form and pretends you're posting on Hacker News itself. The way that works is that we first fetch the page of a specific comment or story, find its input. So we're looking for the actual form on the page, again using Cheerio. Then we find a hidden input called HMAC and we take that value. I think that's something that Hacker News is using to avoid request cross-site request forgery, which in theory is exactly what we're doing right now, but it works pretty well. Once we have that HMAC value, we send a, re we send a reply by submitting a fake form using a fetch request, and when that succeeds, we go back, re resolve the promise, and in theory, in theory, Hacker News doesn't actually tell us whether we successfully posted the comment or not. It just kind of renders the same page back again without telling us what happened. So we assumed it worked. So there you go. Hacker News app where you can read stories, upvote stuff, and participate in conversation all while staying very positive and not having to deal with a bunch of toxic stuff that's usually found on Hacker News. If you want to see what, I'm, what we're going to build next in two weeks, you should subscribe right now.